Yo guys, what is up? And first off, I do want to apologize because in my last video, I said uh, that this video was supposed to come out the day after that, but you know, I had some shit going on, just didn't have time for it. But anyways, I'm here to talk about it now. And as you guys can probably tell from the thumbnail and title, I am going to be talking about Zombie Chronicles again. And it is a small change, a very, very small change. This, does, this doesn't affect the gameplay or anything like that of the OG zombie maps uh, that they added into Black Black Ops 3 with the Zombie Chronicles, but it is a change I noticed, and that change is that they took all of the swastikas out of zombies. Now, let me remind you, um, this game mode started out being called Nazi Zombies, because it started in World of War, you know, we're fighting against the Nazis, the Italians, the Japanese, I mean, you know, it just is what it is, and they took out the fucking swastikas out of the game mode that is called Nazi Zombies. Now, obviously, uh, since World at War and Black Ops 1, it has evolved since then into not really being about Nazis, but just zombies in general. Like, the whole zombie storyline has gone completely fucking nuts. I mean, I, I, I still enjoy it, though, but yeah. So, anyways, I noticed it. I thought it was really fucking weird, um, like, I mean, they had the swastikas in World at War and Black Ops 1, I don't see why they would remove them, I mean, I'm not really upset about it or anything, but it's just weird, like, I mean, it's fucking Activision and the Call of Duty Studios trying to appeal to the SJW audience, like, SJWs don't like fucking video games, they think video games are misogynist, uh, sexist, racist, homophobic, all that shit, even though most video games aren't fucking real. I mean, like, Call of Duty Zombies, for example, we are traveling in time to different maps. I mean, this gameplay right here, I am fighting fictional zombies on the moon, and they're gonna get triggered by swastikas. That is absolutely fucking retarded. I mean, and they just threw the swastikas in there because, I mean, on Kino Der Toten, or I'm just going to call it Kino because I can't really pronounce it that well. I probably fucked that up completely. But, I mean, on Kino, for example, you're in a old Nazi propaganda theater. I mean, if I walked into an old Nazi propaganda theater, I would fully expect to see swastikas and shit. I mean, because it's just how things were back in the day. I mean... Yeah, you know, I mean, Hitler killed a bunch of people just because of what they believed, because they were Jewish, and it's fucked up, and it shouldn't have happened, but it did, and I mean, there's nothing we can do about it now, but just learn from it, and you know, make sure no crazy motherfucker ever pulls something like that ever again, I mean, what, are we gonna start taking fucking swastikas out of museums now just because it might offend somebody? We have those there to learn from the past and remember all the millions of people who died for no reason and to make sure something like that ever happened again it's just absolutely fucking crazy that uh now in video games are starting to be censored and i don't know it just seems like to me they're trying to erase history but that's just my opinion like now there's a the whole news of them uh taking down confederate monuments and shit and i don't know it's just getting absolutely crazy in my opinion um and then in mario kart 8 uh they took out a uh gesture that some character did where they flex their arm because they said that was offensive and the character's female so you think a female flexing would actually be feminist but i guess it's not i don't even fucking know these people are so retarded but yeah, uh, I mean that's that's really it. It's just completely fucking retarded in my opinion. I mean I'm I mean I don't really care that much because zombies is still fun to play, especially on Black Ops Three. It does look a shit ton better, um, and it is pretty cool to play it on Black Ops Three in full 1080p and all that. So I am happy about that. But yeah, that's just my thoughts about the swastikas being removed. Um, kind of saw it coming because there was a lot of talk with the new Call of Duty coming up. Call of Duty World War II, um, at the reveal, they didn't show any kind of Nazi imagery or nothing like that. And there had been rumors that there wouldn't be swastikas or anything like that in the game, which is completely fucking nuts because the uh, campaign and the uh, multiplayer and all that shit is going to take place in World War II where we were fighting Nazi Germans. So, I mean, it's fucking whatever, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about today. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye.